What's up, bud? It's Rob. This is Apparel Success. And in this video here, I want to talk to you about how many designs I recommend that you start your clothing brand off with. Apparel Success is sponsored by my buds over at Design Crowd. And if designs are something that you need for your clothing brand, then I really recommend that you give them a shot. You post a project on Design Crowd, amazing designers from all around the world will compete for your project. You choose the winner, then you get that design plus revisions. Here's an example of a design that I had made through Design Crowd for my own clothing brand. It's literally the best selling design on my website. If you're interested, head over to designcrowd.com forward slash apparel to learn about the special offer that I have for you where you can save up to $100 or use the discount code apparel when you post a project on Design Crowd. All right, so a really common question that I get is, I'm launching a clothing brand. How many designs should I start my clothing brand out with? Should I come out with just one design? Should I come out with 10? Should I come out with 20? I don't really know how to gauge how many designs I should come out with that are gonna give my clothing brand the best chances at the success that I'm trying to get here. And I wanna break this down because the answer to this question isn't as simple as just saying four designs. You should come out with four designs and that's the answer for every single clothing brand. Every single clothing brand is different and so I really wanna jump into the nuances here so that you can make the best decision for your own clothing brand. The place that I believe every new clothing brand owner should be starting out from is drawing up as many designs as you possibly can so that you have a pool of designs that you can look at and you can judge each design based on their quality. Because looking at this from purely just a quantity perspective, like how many designs should I come out with? Do I need to come out with six? Do I need to come out with 10? None of that matters nearly as much as the quality of the designs that you decide to come out with. Let's say that you, you draw up 20 designs, but only five of them you feel really, really confident in. And the other 15, there's something about each of those designs that really sketches you out then don't launch with those designs. Don't come out with any designs that you don't feel perfectly confident in. And I think that that's probably the most important piece of information that you're gonna get in this video because you know, if you end up launching with designs just because you know, in your mind you're thinking, the more designs, the more shirts, the more that I can sell, the more money that I can make, then you know, you're really gonna be screwed when you end up launching that design and you realize that you know, nobody's really buying it and it's actually hurting the overall perception of your brand. Because another thing to think about here is that what a brand is at the end of the day is consistency from design to design, from style to style, you know, and your brand as a whole is built on consistency. And so if you just launch all the designs that you draw up and there's this feeling of randomness from design to design, then it's really going to hurt the tightness of your brand. It's really going to hurt the, you know, the overall potency of your brand that you want to have you know, just as an overall message that you're putting out there. If you're investing in your inventory and you're not doing print on demand, then I really recommend that you come out with less designs than more designs. And I think that a really good number to start out with is like three or four designs. The reason for that is because if you go really wide with a lot of designs, then you're going to have to fund all that inventory and keeping up with that overhead. If you start to sell out of a lot of different designs can be really tricky because you know, you've got to stay stocked in all of these different designs. And that's a problem that I've run into with my own clothing brand. When I branched out and I came up with way too many designs of hoodies, it's like, Oh my God, all of a sudden the overhead becomes ridiculous because you have to keep all these different designs stocked. And I'd rather have one product, that I'm selling 100 units of every single month than two products that I'm selling 50 of both. Because stocking that one product is way easier. You get a discount, you know, the more hoodies you order, that's the exact same hoodie, you get a discount, you know, the more times you print that one hoodie, and it just becomes much easier to fund and to keep up with the overhead with. That's something to keep in mind if you're holding on to your inventory. If you're doing print on demand, I think that you have much more leeway with this in terms of coming out with more designs because there's not as much risk up front when it comes to investing in inventory and things like that. You can launch as many designs as you want on your website and you know, you're know you only gonna have to pay for those when you sell them. As a general rule of thumb though, whether you're holding on to your inventory or you're doing print on demand, I recommend that both parties starting out a clothing brand come out with less designs than more designs. I believe that you know there's only positive things that can come out of starting from a, from a smaller point than over investing and trying to jump steps too quickly. And, you know, even if you're doing print on demand and you don't have the inventory risk, 
you can still potentially be destroying your brand and the perception of your brand if you come out with too many designs because you're losing that consistency from product to product. And when it comes to your inventory, if you're holding on to inventory, you know, investing in too many designs at the beginning, you haven't even figured out if people are going to buy yet. Like you don't even know which designs are selling well yet. And I think it's really good to pick your favorite four or five designs. This is the, you know, just ending advice of this video here. Pick your favorite four or five designs for your clothing brand and launch with those. Okay. And even if you come out with three or two designs, that's completely cool too. Look at what's selling. You really want to get a, get a feel for what's selling first so that you can then look at that design and that design will become the new starting point for all new designs that you're creating with your clothing brand. You know, that's what I do with my own clothing brand. I look at which designs are selling the best and then I ask myself, why are they selling the best? And then any new designs that I come out with in the future are all going to be, you know, based on the foundation of why that design's selling really well. And you wanna just be getting closer and closer to what's selling for your clothing brand and that's really gonna help you. So, you know, just as, I know you're probably looking for like a definitive number answer in this video, I think four or five designs is a really good starting point, whether you're holding onto your inventory or whether you're doing print on demand. And this doesn't mean that forever your clothing brand's only gonna have four or five designs. It's just a really good place to start from because it's enough that you're gonna be able to get a sample of what's selling and you can always move up and come out with more designs as your clothing brand grows and as you feel comfortable and more confident in new designs that you're creating. I hope this video helps you with launching your clothing brand. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Drop your brand down there as well. I'd like to check out the brands that are watching. And if you haven't already, check out my free clothing brand marketing masterclass. All you have to do to get access is go to apparelsuccess.com slash masterclass and you can watch the whole thing for free. And if you've made it to this point in the video, I wanna tell you about the closed Facebook group that we have with Apparel Success. There's a link in the description. Follow that link, join us in the group. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.